President Hiram Seveni has laid the foundation stone for the National Science, Technology, Engineering and Innovation Center at Rebitete, Chiruhura District. Accompanied by the First Lady, Mrs. Janet Museveni, who is also Minister for Education and Sports, the President said that no one will cut the operating budget of the Ministry of Science, Technology and Innovation as long as he is still the President of Uganda. The centre is aimed at enhancing the technological and innovative base of Ugandans to participate in national infrastructure projects and manufacturing industries. You have heard that this is the Lord, the, the, like the Lord Government Center of the Lawyers. A lawyer is trained academically in the, in the law school, but before he goes to the courts, he must learn the, the, te the techniques, the practical techniques of being a lawyer in Uganda. Even if you are trained wherever you are trained, you must to operate here. Uh, would it be the same like uh, for the doctors, the internship, a little bit like that? Uh -huh. Like the doctors for internship, to get the practical skills here, you have had that, and you have had the plan. It is built on a model similar to Law Development Center, whereby it takes in those who have completed the formal training at university or vocational training centers to harness their precision skills in their areas of specialization. The president assured Ugandans that the government will fully fund the building of the foundry and the center. We shall build the foundry. If the Ekizim Bank are tired, for us we are not tired. We shall build the foundry ourselves. His assurance followed a statement from the Minister of Science and Technology and Innovation, Dr. Monica Musenero, that the Exim Bank of China, who are supporting the establishment of the center through a loan, had declined to cater for the foundry. The center is one of the three components under the National Science, Technology, Engineering and Innovative Skills Enhancement Project and is being implemented by the Uganda National Council for Science and Technology. On her part, Dr. Msenero revealed that the center will impart precision engineering skills to Ugandans which are essential for designing, manufacturing, installation and operation of infrastructure and industrial projects. You may recall that in 2021, you outlined the eight areas where science, technology and innovation should focus in order for us to contribute to driving the economy and focus on productivity acceleration, import substitution, and the enhancing value added uh, exports. Among these eight areas, Your Excellency, is what you termed infrastructure innovations, or in other words, enhancing the capacity of Ugandans to do engineering uh, so that they can participate in uh, development projects. Dr. Msenero says 1,200 Ugandans are expected to be equipped with precision industrial skills per year, hence improved employability and participation in industrial jobs. The construction works are expected to be completed by July 2023 and the facility will be handed to the Ministry of Science and Technology by November 2023.